So as I talked about in the previous videos, a lot of the common questions I get, which is usually, uh, you know, when am I ever going to have to use this and can you make math fun? Now, I really can't blame people for asking those questions because a lot of times we aren't clear as to what kind of math we're talking about. There's really kind of two kinds of math that most people are kind of thinking about in the back of their heads when they're talking about math. You're talking about pure math versus applied math. Pure math is what people think they need to really know to be good at math. And pure math is a lot of proofs. It's a lot of theoretical stuff. It's linear algebra. It's all of that stuff that you see people that are math majors and math minors. They take these very um, deep theoretical courses of math that become very abstract. Um, and again, they're theoretical, so they can't necessarily be proven or disproven. They're kind of interpretations of math. But again, that's where you're going into the deep weeds of a lot of theoretical quantum stuff that yes, is being used now in the applied area. And applied math is what we usually think of when we're talking about when am I gonna have to use this? Meaning when am I gonna have to apply it? So if I'm gonna apply it in business, if I'm gonna apply it in physics, in chemistry, in being a surgeon, in whatever I'm doing, I'm doing applied math. And applied math is what relates to the actual real physical world where these things, I need to see a produced result. Pure math, you don't know what you're necessarily gonna get. And there's lots of ways where all of a sudden numbers are nothingness it's it's very strange but the thing is is that people think in order to be good at math that you have to go into the pure math space that's not what i'm talking about i'm talking about applied math and there's so many people that are way better at applied math than they give themselves credit for yes you may make a mistake here and there but it's the pure math that a lot of people think that they have to get to in order to be good at it. So when they say, when am I ever gonna have to use this? They're thinking about those university classrooms with wild and crazy uh, equations on the board and massive proofs and all of these axioms and all these things that you know could be true or not. And so, yeah, when am I gonna have to use that? Well, you know, I'll tell you another story a little bit later in terms of the bigger relevance of math and it's, let's say, universal usage as we know it when we apply it especially. But the point is, is that you don't necessarily have to go this far to be good at math. You can be very solid in algebra, calculus, trig, and a lot of other areas and be very, very good at math in that arena. You don't necessarily have to be a mathematician in order to be good at it. So hopefully that releases a lot of pressure for you guys, but I'm still not done yet when we start talking about ways to apply math, because many of you are still saying, well, Johan say, I do not plan on using math in my career pursuits. Well, uh, I'll give you at least one solid example and two ways in which it will definitely apply to your life, no matter what you're doing. So stick around. <laughs>